Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another Kickstarter critique where I take a look at a different Kickstarter project every single weekday at around 1.40 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and give my honest thoughts on how that Kickstarter is being ran. So if you enjoy that kind of content, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below as I'm trying to reach 9,000 subscribers, celebrate my nine-year anniversary of making YouTube content. Also, consider supporting the Patreon down below as currently I'm a stay-at-home dad. But right now, I'm very excited to be checking out the... 23rd most popular project on all of tabletop games that is velocity vanguard the relaunch an epic story driven tactical space experience with unique gameplay customize and launch dot 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 so it's already raised thirty seven thousand dollars but they have a very ambitious goal right here i'm gonna guess that's maybe sixty thousand or fifty thousand that's a pretty high goal right there so the first thing i do want to know and i put a poll in here i would love to know everyone's opinion where do you think you should handle mentioning that you were in fact a relaunch that you tried the first time it did not work out and now you are back should you mention it at all i don't know i want your opinions on it because i'm really kind of curious uh, i don't think right at the front is necessarily the way to go but i i don't know i need to think on that one but anywho, I'd love to see a time length here. I'd love to see the player count here. I'd love to see the price right here. Once again, it's just mind-boggling to me. You know, you're telling me this is an epic, story-driven, tactical space adventure. So I'm going to assume it's one to four players, and it's going to take you 90 to two hours to play. But I would love to know more, because if this is like a six-hour game, or if this is like a legacy-style game, it's just, you could have so much more information on here. Now, what does it look like? I see... I'm looking at the main image. I, I would get rid of the artwork, to be honest with you. I don't think that artwork's really going to appeal to anybody. Like, And what I mean by that is, I don't feel like the artwork is spectacular enough that it's going to make people insta-back. And it's just... There's so much more useful information that could be in that spot. I just personally think. Epic story, unique gameplay. That gets me excited. So as always, when you come to this video, I'm thinking three things. Do I want it? Can you do it? How much is it? Hopefully you convince convince me of at least one of those three things generally in the video. Let's go right now. Oh, wait, there was more thing. Customize your launch. Customize and launch your ships solo with allies or enemies. Uh, enemies. So that was what was cut off. It said with unique gameplay, customize and launch your ships solo with allies or enemies. What does that actually mean? I'm really trying to break that down right here. All right. An epic, story-driven, tactical space experience with unique gameplay. Customize and launch your ship solo with allies or enemies. Like, dot, dot, dot. Or, I don't... I think that means it's cooperative and solo and uh, competitive. I think that's what they're trying to squeeze into this sentence. And the bottom line is... Uh, just, just give me a player count. Anywho, let's get into the video. Four unique factions, each with different capabilities. Customize your ships, thousands of possible ships. Whoa, 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 whoa! This looks badass! This looks spectacular! Holy guacamole, don't bury the lead here! That, now that gets me excited. Complete customization of my own ships, and I want to see that shot again real quick. Because that, look at all, look at all the, so you start off with pretty much this blank slate, and then it's just, yeah, that looks fun. That looks fun right there. Okay. So they're showing off the minis kind of, sort of, not really here. They look kind of to me like the, uh, the minis, like not as nice minis from, uh, Scythe. From the Wind Gambit expansion. These longer minis. But hopefully they give me a good sense of scale in a little bit. About how large these minis are. Because it looks like this one is four grids long. And that's... That'd be great. I Hopefully they zoom in here. Zoom in. Zoom in. Zoom in. Do it. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That looks really cool. Was that a rocket? Okay. So that's cool. And then wait. One thing I want to notice here. Is yes. The pieces are actually moving. So I'm assuming... The rocket was, so that was like numerous turns that just took place there, where the green ship launched the rocket, then it took, you know, four turns to get there, but the blue tried to wiggle its front end here. Like, this is all really exciting stuff that I'm inferring from this video. Uh, oh, fun physics-based movement, drift and spin around your enemies to gain the advantage. That sounds really cool, too. Okay. So, it's... Okay, so when I when I came into this, 
I was expecting like an epic space forex. That's just that's just what I was thinking. I'm just throwing that out into the the uh, the the atmosphere. And then when I see this, I'm getting a much different impression. I'm getting you know first part of the game, boom, customizing your ships. Second part of the game, sending them out to do. It just looks like doing combat. It looks like we're playing a completely different game. Like this, what you showed me in this video was not what I was expecting from your description, and it was not what I was expecting from the main image and I, that's bad i right that's bad like this is a pleasant surprise that oh this is what's going on but i was promised an epic story driven tactical space adventure this does not seem like an epic story driven tactical space adventure at least to me so perhaps i i would i would tweak one of those two but overall the video was um it was it was interesting it was short you know they really so uh, i don't think it was a yeah, I think it's a good video. I think it needs more. I think it could use some voiceover work. And even if it's just you, you know, the video felt a little cold and heartless. I'll put it like that. All right, so two created, 13 back. The first one's going to be the original. We have no collaborators in here. Uh-oh, that scares me a little bit on the customer service. Also, the fact that this is their first project, uh, that scares me as well, because they're asking for a pretty high goal. What is it? $69,000. That is a really stinking high goal for what I'm seeing right here. Like, I, I see these components, and, I, and I'm not saying, wow, that looks like a, a game that really needs $69,000 to happen. So you're, you're working against that a little bit there. That's a big funding goal for most games. Honestly, what most companies would have done is they'd chop this in half. They'd say they need $35,000. Then the rest of the time, they're talking about stretch goals, which are really things that already were in the game. or You know, but, but huh interesting oh that's what i wanted to check so i do want to go back to the original and see how that kickstarter was ran uh so it looks pretty much this game i want this game so much they quoted a backer <laughs> no that's a terrible quote the, the backers never played the game the backer knows that ah, i don't like it <laughs> oh but look you put solo co-op and competitive you took that out why would you take that out that's really useful information that i complained about Make it happen on Kickstarter. Yeah, you got rid of that. That's garbage. Uh, I really just think you don't need this clogging this up here. All right. So what was their funding goal? That's the last thing I want to check before we get back into it. So it was $84,000. Jesus Christ, who are you going through? So it's a big funding goal for this relaunch as well. Yeah, that is wowzers. All right. So one to four players, 20 to 40 minutes per player. Okay. So a two minute, so a two player game is going to be a 40 minute game epic game okay so now now the i feel like the wheels are falling off right now because as soon as i see that i'm losing the epic feel and now it's like oh you kind of misled me this doesn't look like an epic game in any stretch of the way it looks like a very cool space game i'd love to play this but i don't know if it necessarily looks like an epic well 20 to 40 i don't know let's keep going i want to know more about the story driven element of it. you'll be taken to a future where humanity has shed oh but by the way can you do it is still no uh so far i am not convinced in any way shape or form so hopefully they talk about their manufacturing down below i doubt they will but hopefully they do you'll be taken to a future where humanity has shed its earthly bounds in a race to claim valuable resources and explore the undiscovered so you're going around exploring and claiming resources that does not sound epic why back now you are helping make sure that make this game a reality we can't make it without you yes 79 dollars, and i do like the fact that they're getting down to the price really early so 79 dollars for an epic space game assuming this is an epic space game which you're not giving me the epic space game feeling just yet uh, scrap it all and give us a close-up on the box, space, and ships with the solo co-op and game info on the side. I agree with Noah. Uh, I would love to see the price there as well. Just boom, $79. You get this real cool space game with unique mechanisms. And if you just say that, a space combat uh, drafting, is it drafting? Is that how we're going to get this? If this is a space, if this is a drafting game where I am drafting parts to make a spaceship and then go out and go boom, boom, boom with my spaceship with your unique uh, gameplay aspect, that gets me excited. That actually does get me excited. I'm curious to see how this goes. Get your game faster, cheaper, and with more content by backing now. Some stretch goals will be exclusive to the Kickstarter edition. As with many Kickstarter projects, this game may not be available for purchase, blah, blah, blah. The word around Earth. Oh, okay, so we got some, some videos. Velocity Vanguard feels unique in a crowded ecosystem, and it does so while delivering a great game and rewarding puzzle along the way. Interesting. Wasn't expecting a puzzle. So it feels unique in a crowded ecosystem, and I'll agree with that. I, I will definitely agree with that because I, this game does look different. This was not what I was expecting when I clicked on it. 
So that that actually does get me kind of excited about it. Uh, and, and I found that me and Alex generally have uh, similar tastes in games. I love the fact that you have to deal with drift, deal with inertia. Really neat. Okay, crap quote. <laughs> the game's absolutely gorgeous. Seriously, what the heck? Don't care. A surprising, accessible game of space physics where maneuvering is a joy and a puzzle in and of itself. Now that is a banging quote right there. Great quote. Had a blast pun intended love the mix of resource management worker placement and hard cold physics wait this is a worker placement game that's i would mention that earlier that's exciting i'd mention that up here get rid of epic and say worker placement or ah, i just that epic just people use it too much what's in the box four unique factions four velocity boards uh which are 12 dashboards 12 vector tokens so we're getting four times of all this okay the ships close up they look meh they look meh I mean, I think that's... They're not going to wow anybody, but they look like they're really cool. I, I do like the colors, though. I love the color scheme. Ooh, I actually like these angle balloons. Those are pretty cool. Okay, maybe it's just that first one. The wolf? Okay, and now we're getting some more details. I think it's just the first one. I don't really... It just looks so blah to me. But that one looks nice, and that one looks really good. Okay, and this is what I was saying. If they look really good, zoom in. And that was in that first 40-second video. I wish they would have really zoomed in a little bit so we could have seen... Uh, a little bit of how this works, because this looks really cool. Like, to be quite honest, looking at this base right here for this piece, this this looks really intriguing, actually. That's, and they, they each have their own size. That is, huh. I am, uh, I'm actually a lot, really interested in this game after looking at this nice long scrolling shot. So I think they have redeemed themselves to some extent. And now the $79 price tag, I'm saying, okay, these are nice looking minis. Again, a whole bunch of them, 76 ship modules, eight command modules. So these are going to be the people, uh, the pilots, the different pilots are going to be on your ships because you're going to be able to customize it. 72 specialist crew cards. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Love it. Love it. It's giving me uh, Firefly feels almost. I love Firefly. Uh, 36 plaster timing tokens, six critical damage dice, one first player token. Thir yeah, and so all of a sudden I'm saying $79. I'm saying this seems reasonable. It seems very reasonable. Large asteroids to go on the spot, 30 mission trackers large stations have they have they really covered how that board like what kind of board that is here it is one sector board and it's 34 by 95 and look at that they did the millimeters and the inches i love it i love it uh rip firefly left us way too soon yes it did the movie was good though the uh, the what is it the sentinel it starts with an s the okay so one velocity vanguard rule booklet 18 story driven missions and this right here i feel like has been a somewhat of an undersold aspect of this because that actually gets me excited so 18 story driven missions so right now i'm getting 18 games out of a 79 dollar box and all of a sudden you know I'm, I'm down so here's what i think i'm thinking i'm thinking you definitely need to mention 18 missions right up in here just 18 missions, either or potentially on the front. Maybe in that, that section that we're talking about with the cooperative and, uh, maybe, where is it? Yeah, if you're talking about here, 18 unique missions. Like that right there, when I hear 18 missions and I say $79, I start doing the math and I say, okay, that's value. But I mentioned that earlier. I think I think that is a, I think that is a really good, good thing to mention there. But, continuing back down. I had, the only reason I found out about those 18 missions is because I was scrolling through the components and looked to here. So one sector board, so 34 inches, so that's you know, 12. So that's, that's pretty long. Okay, that gives me an epic feel. That gives me an epic feel. I might even mention the size of the board, potentially in the video. Massive 34 by 29 inch board. Um, that's great, because I was thinking it was much smaller, quite honestly. Serenity, that's the name, thank you. Automated opponents and tokens, 12 player aid cards. Ooh, I'd love to see those zoomed in on, but that gets me excited as well. Player aid cards, automated opponents and tokens for the solo game, that gets me excited. Yeah, everything looks great here. This, this is why I always recommend having this nice, long, oh-so-pretty scrolling shot where you zoom in on all the components, because this shot, this shot I think is going to sell a lot of people in the game right there uh so then we got optional buys add more ships with these faction boxes so 30 bucks gets you another faction to play on which is a big mini a small mini a bunch of tokens bunch of tokens bunch of cards okay that looks like a reasonable value it looks like a 30 dollars expansion to me so let's see uh three ship minis three ship dashes yeah i don't have an issue with this 30 30 30 okay wait aren't these already included in the game no they just look kind of sim wait what no that's already included in the game isn't it that looks really similar to the other one, doesn't it? <laughs> so this is the Ventor from the Rift, 
And this is the what the what the hell is this? That looks exactly like the other one. Oh, the bottom size of the ship is different. Ooh. Well, that intrigues me even more. Okay. Okay. Maybe the ships are supposed to look similar. Maybe, oh, the, are those different units you can use as your faction? Yeah, this is great. This is a really solid looking Kickstarter. Started off rough, but man, they nailed their pledge level in their add-on section, I do believe. Hopefully, oh, oh, I pray, maybe the shipping's right after. Maybe, maybe. It's not going to be. Large playmat. Oh, look how big that play red is. And I like how they I like how they did this. They just show it scrolling over. That's a great shot. So what is this? Includes the large skirmish mission guide. Wait, 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 wait. This oh, this is bigger. This is 29 by 46 and a half. Oh, and it includes just specific things for large Oh my gosh, how many missions are in the large skirmish mission guide? I I want this. This is great. And hopefully, hopefully I d you have yourself a whale. Pledge level. So here we go. We're to the pledge levels. Let's go. Let's go. I'm kind of excited. $79. The pledge fleet. This is going to give you all this, the expansions. Cool. And then we have the big one with the expansions and the play mat. Hit me with it. Boom! I love it! This is how you run your Kickstarter right there. That looks great. That is what I want a pledge level to look like. Just pop it and say hi. Hope, I hope you were keeping well as well uh wow this looks really stinking rock solid it's just that first 40 second video i i, I wonder if that's maybe the big mcguffin here i love that word mcguffin stretch goals so 200 bgg fans so one, once again i love this idea make it clickable how much easier is it and i i complimented a company last week for doing this where it, they it was like every single thing where they're like hey do this on social media you clicked on it and boom you take me there and now it's like Oh, I have to go to BGG, I have to find the game, and then I have to become a fan? You couldn't just automatically send me there? Ugh. Ugh. Because the other thing is, I would really love to at least know how close we are to unlocking this. Like, if we're at, like, 184 fans, like, you're not gonna do it? I, I, I just think that's a misstep. Alright, so funded. <clears throat> so this is the stretch goal. Oh, no, this is just funded. $6,900, $200 competitive uh you uh there's an e missing there Pisset, fix that one in post i also feel like it's always a good idea to put was hoping to have the shipping below as well but no but still that pledge level that add-on level that was that was a fun area to go shopping especially if you have the money to buy this game and you're interested in this game i mean that was that was well done that's like when you walk into an apple store or like a ikea and it's just like oh i love how this is ran and managed i got that feeling from this kickstarter uh but i, I would love to see the first stretch goal like it's great you have this and this looks great you know I, six more cards that looks like a tons of variability i'm excited but what's the first stretch goal what do you give me tease me with a little bit tease me with a little bit get me more excited about your project solo cooperative competitive story driven mission based gameplay hopefully we're going to talk a little bit about this also hopefully we get the gameplay videos uh year 20 2082 first asteroid mined in the inner astro are we going to theme are we going hard into theme here i don't feel like this is the spot to go hard into theme oh oh so you're telling me about the mission-based gameplay by get engrossing me in the history okay you know what i take that back I, I take that back i like that uh and now i choose a faction and each of the factions i'm assuming is going to have a different reason why they're doing their own unique thing so we'll have different stories different types of gameplay uh potentially different mission structures i like it i like it except a mission story-driven skirmish sandbox okay interesting don't know what all these numbers are, but it intrigues me. Build your ships, thousands of configurations. So once again, this is the second time you've mentioned this building your ship thing. This building your ship thing gets me very, very excited. And I imagine if you are a space game fan in general, the concept of building your ship is just an exciting one. And the fact that you haven't actually told me yet, at least maybe I missed it somewhere, how we're going to build the ship is once again unfortunate. Because I also heard that there was worker placement. Like, what's going on here? <laughs> I want to get more of a feel. Activate ships launch cool crew placement assignment crew this means nothing to me resolve movement effects in combat this yep cool this is not what i want here uh complete objectives game highlights physics-based movement we know 
This is just redundant. Customizable dashboards. Play to your style. Yeah, I know. Once again, this is the third time we've talked about it. It sounds great. Why don't you tell me how it's going to happen? How I actually get to customize my dashboard. Scenario play. Guess what? Once again, third time I've heard this. Might be fourth or fifth. Oh, oh, but here we go. Mission types include. So now we are getting some more nuggets of information mixed in with the repetition. One or more common commanders having to escape the sector while being pursued by other commanders. Capture artifacts, small ships, and decks. Rescue commanders stealthily. Oh, so these are different game modes. Hmm. 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 We need to have a talk, precarious games. This at least let me know what you think maybe it's just me but when i see this it actually diminishes my excitement somewhat because i've seen tons of rule booklets for games that i thought yeah that's okay but then i look at the back and there's like 18 different variants and it's like this one does this and that and it's like uh cool <laughs> it doesn't i don't know i just don't feel like this gets most people excited about the game like extra excited about the game like sure it gets hardcore fans more excited i don't know Battle Royale, every commander for themselves. We assume there'd be that. Time challenges, navigate dense asteroid fields and avoid enemies in a set number of rounds. Gather valuable resources. Uh, teach players how the various system works. So training missions, you're counting training missions as part of the missions. You're counting training as part of the scenario play. Survivals, companion... Uh, uh. Okay, I will say from a personal level, this diminishes my excitement personally a little bit uh, down about this game. But I'm very interested to know what other people think. Example navigation action. Use a crew token. So this is okay. So now you're going to tell me a little bit more of how the game works. Rule booklet. Check that one out. Videos. Hey, here we go. The rule booklet just has slightly different components. Yeah, we got it. So dice tower preview. Bet you can't pilot. Where's the gameplay video? Tutorial and playthrough. Awesome. There you go. So one hour, 48 minutes. Okay. Okay. That's not too bad. I was expecting it to be a little bit shorter. Like uh, the actual game itself. Based on the 20 to 40 minute time length. But no, that sounds like a decent time length. All right. Mint mini tournament final game. So this is a full game also. For this round. Excellent. Excellent. That's that's what I want to see. Like that right there. I'm going to. Oh, I was going to go. Uh, so I I did a poll yesterday. And I, I, I'm going to get rid of the 0, 1, 2 rating scale. Because it's a stupid rating scale. And it's just. It's dumb. <laughs> like it's such an odd rating scale. So I'm going to go with the A, B, C, D, F rating scale. That's, that's what I'm going to go with. Um. But I'm still undecided on this one right now. The can you do it? The can you do it? They. It's slowly getting answered because of how much research they've clearly put into what they need, how they need to be running their Kickstarter page. There is just tons and tons of polish on this Kickstarter page, and it's evident. Uh, so much so that you might have actually forgot. Oh yeah, this was a first created, and that's that's exactly what you want to do when you're a first created. So I feel like the can you do it. I feel more comfortable. I still like it if you mentioned your manufacturer. But I feel more comfortable with it. Shipping estimates. Shipping costs will be collected during the manager phase. Uh, so $29. Uh, so it's $29 regardless if I get the core game or if I get the big one. Is that... That can't be right. Shipping costs will be collected. We strive to reach... The shipping costs are subject to change. And we... Rewards... That include multiple copies and add-ons will be determined during pledge manager checkout. So it is just $29? So how does that work that I'm paying $29 if I get the Vanguard, and they're paying $29 if they get the Vanguard Deluxe Fleet Budge, which includes a massively oversized playmat, which is going to be an absolute obnoxious thing to uh, to ship, because it comes in a long tube most of the time, and the base box, and all these other boxes, which presumably, you know, they're going to be decently sized. Why... I feel like that's a little bit of the kick in the balls right there, or the, the badge, to to anyone who just wants to get the core game. Like, immediately the $79 game goes to a $108 game, and a $108 game that, that only plays four players? Wasn't it four players? I don't know off the top of my head, because you didn't make it... Uh, okay, there it is. One to four players. So, yeah, that's... Ooh. That's that's a bit of a stretch. Okay. So uh, so with the new A, B, C, D, F rating scale, you know, I have to factor in. It used to always just be an easy one, 0, 1, or 2, but now, okay. So $29, $108 for this game. I don't feel that comfortable with it. 
So immediately, I think I think we're leaning towards a C right now on this. Precarious Games will do their utmost to ensure that deliveries start according to the, uh, so yeah, October 2022. So Essen next year, roundabout, that makes a lot of sense. So, let's see, we got 144 people just want the base game. 19 people want the base game with the expansions, which, once again, I don't think the majority of people are going to be there. Uh, I would I would quite honestly just do a whale and then just have add-ons because this middle pledge level it just seems so unnecessary like if I'm that committed to your game uh ooh yeah that's a third of the price for one box yeah that's a and once again once again I don't know the size of the box like maybe it's in one of these videos but I don't have a concrete grasp on the size of your box because you didn't mark and today nope. we're taking nope I don't think so uh yeah i don't i don't think you ever so this okay there it, it looks like a big box it looks like a scythe style box but once again i would love to know the exact measurements of the box put the box next to something and that's something that they probably know right now because once again hopefully they're talking to the manufacturer which once again i would also recommend uh to, to the precarious to mention your manufacturer somewhere in here if you did not because you're a first-time game designer, and and mentioning, oh, we're going through Panda Games. Like if you, I I swear to you, if, just mention it. We're 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 talking to Panda Games right now. That's who we're leaning towards. Like even if that's not the truth, like that's that's just, like ninety-nine percent of people are like, okay, cool. <laughs> like it's just done. Like I believe you could do it. Like I shouldn't say ninety-nine, but I think a large percentage. So then we have the big one, which I imagine is going to be the most popular in the end. One hundred and twenty-two to nineteen. So that definitely does tell you this pledge level is unnecessary so but yeah that also is telling you that a lot of people are skeptical they just want this base game 144 so it's one of the rare kickstarters where despite the fact i think the whale looks really stinking good the core game is beating the whale and you, and that that i think might be why they're having a little bit of trouble launching here because let's be quite honest with you uh i'm a little bit i'm a little bit suspicious on this game as well especially when i read those missions and i was like oh this is just a bunch of like minor tweaks to the game at least that's what it seems uh and then i say so yeah i'm looking at the core game and it's like dang 29 dollars like because your game was already 20 dollars over msrp you know msrp typically 60 dollars so you're already asking 20 dollars 19 dollars more despite the fact hey joe biden despite the fact you are a first-time designer and then you're throwing on the $29 shipping and, and here's the bottom line when I see that I know exactly what's happening every single person on Kickstarter knows what's happening right now you're giving the big people at the bottom a great deal and you're giving the little people on the top who just get the core game an absolute garbage deal and I think that you know it just looks bad and that is why you need the nice looking shipping section where it has the shipping for each of your pledge levels well the what most of your pledge levels you don't need them for all obviously um even though for all is nice as well yeah i would say for all but for this one like how hard would it have been to just figure out how much it's going to cost just to ship the core game because i'm going to guess it's probably costing 29 dollars to ship this not and it's just ugh, make it make it different i wonder if it's mentioned in the faqs i'm going to wager three bowers game quarter dollars it is not is that included in my pledge? Oh, did they not mention that in the shipping section? Come on. Oh, no. You got to mention that. Got to mention that. Got to mention that. Got to mention that. Okay. Uh, yes, that is included. No! Why is that insufficient? If it's included in your pledge, then you should be pounding your chest and saying, We got the VAT, baby! We got you! No customs problems here, son! That's what you should be doing, not buried in your FAQ. You're... Your shipping section desperately needs a win, and, and by putting the VAT in there, I think, I think, will there be stretch goals? Yes, once funded, we'll reveal more details about the stretch goals. You could also, you know, just show us the first stretch goal, which I did recommend. If not, it's totally in the comments. You know it's not in the comments. Will there be a pledge manager after the campaign completes? Yes, I would assume so. Is the game board included in the core game box? But what the, who the hell asked that? Who's, dude? Yeah, of course. Like, what? How are ships differentiated when using the same class without a faction? Oh, I did ask that question. Uh, the core box and the ship expansion box will include tokens that identify individual ships on the board, on the dashboards, and on the velocity boards. Interesting. Okay. All right, updates. Let's check it out. Three comments, zero comments, six comments. These are not a good updates. I hate saying that. I always hate saying that, but it's the truth. You know, if you're... 
if you're not getting people engaged, if you're not getting people commenting, it's just, it's not a successful update. It doesn't matter how spectacular you make it look. You got to get people engaged. Oh yeah, rule book. Let's check this one out. Boop. What do we got? Uh, so we have 20 pages. That's not as bad as I was expecting. And they got a nice little table of contents here. Oh, look at that. That's a great component. This is looking pretty solid. Set up. Okay. Oh, you know what? This doesn't look too bad. I, I wouldn't mind reading this rule booklet right here. Look at all those huge pictures and illustrations and examples. Ooey, ooey, gooey. That's a nice looking rule booklet. I'm impressed by that. Uh, expansion updates. Thanks for the feedback and requests regarding inclusion of extra specialist crew cards and ships modules. Good news. We are able to include one set of unique 12. Ooh. So people were complaining about your expansions and saying your expansions weren't good enough and you added stuff. Um, so I want to cover this from two perspectives. The first perspective is from a consumer who says, yeah, cool. The game is better. The expansion is better. But then I actually want to look at it from someone who loves board games and say, they just threw this stuff in. <laughs> like, wh why wasn't it in there in the first place? Or was this one of those instances where they were in stretch goals or something like that and now they're like oh crap we're not gonna hit our stretch goals so they have to throw them in there i hope that's the case i hope this isn't just like hey we're gonna we're gonna come up with 12 new crew cards and 19 new mod you know 12 new crew cards because that's a lot of playtesting. that's a lot of balancing that's a lot to do still before october 2022 uh and i know it doesn't sound like a lot but there's a certain point where you know you just have to send everything off to the factory in china and say all right wash our hands of it so you know it is it kind of is uh, check out the campaign ship identifiers as noted in previous comments although they are not pictured in the core or faction expansions there will be identifying tokens that allow the identifying of ships in the same class with their controlling dashboards and tokens we'll highlight this in a future update and once again i'm pretty sure that's exactly what i mentioned when i went through the add-ons and i said wait wait this looks like the exact same ship from this ship to that ship and i understand why it looks the exact same because you know making the mold for one of these minis is just insanely expensive um but still uh, it's one of those things that you should have you should have had the foresight, I think, to see that one coming. Because, uh, like I said, as soon as I saw it, I was just like, oh, wait, 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 wait. And that's why you should have people blind play test your Kickstarter page. Special thanks to Alex for organizing a learn-to-play session Friday night. You can ask him about that on BGG or on Discord. Go, Alex. Also, shout out to who on Discord. So, once again, ask questions. Ask questions. You always need to ask questions. Uh, nobody's going to comment if you don't ask questions. I will say I'm very interested to see how the first update went. Uh, like, follow, and share. Because clearly people must have been complaining about the value of the things. New pledge levels. Based on early feedback, we have added two new pledge levels. Wait. 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 So there was only one pledge level at the beginning? Don't tell me you were making everybody buy the whale. Did they go the all deluxe route? You, no precarious. You can only go the all deluxe route if you have a track record. That's the rule, damn it. Don't try and jump the shark here. Uh, that can't be. So they added the Vanguard Fleet Pledge and they added the Vanguard Deluxe Fleet Pledge. It includes the core game. So they didn't, they didn't have just the game originally. You had to buy everything. Wait, includes the core game and the core game stretch goals. All core game faction expand. So... They originally were saying that you had to drop, and I didn't even, I forgot to even look at the price. What is the price of the can? I'm throw, I am all mixed up right now. What was it? $175. So they were, the f original pledge was $175, and you had to go all in on it. And then people said, uh, no, no thank you. That's not how Kickstarter generally works. And they said, fine, we'll give you how Kickstarter generally works. And they're saying, good, this is what we want. Well, 144. But then this is the one where you probably didn't need to listen to them uh, because 19 people. I don't think that's going to be very popular. But that's interesting. That's interesting that they completely bent to their will on, on pretty much day one. Yeah, that was day two, actually. After the initial... Like, this is the kind of thing that I thought you would have learned from here. Like, I hate to be that guy, but it's like, th this is where you should have cut your teeth on this sort of thing. So let's check out this. Ambassador Pledge. So you originally had the core game, and it was, un it was, it was really popular. <laughs> oh no, oh, you initially did core game. <sighs> Two copies of the game. Five copies. So you didn't have the expansions in the original core game? I'm so confused. I'm going to take a gander here, because now... 
my 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 C rating is is creeping towards a D on this on this Kickstarter pledge for rewards. So the eighty nine dollar core pledge includes. Did it include all the stuff in the expansion? No, it didn't. Stretch goals. What the heck is this? Oh, so this is cool stuff. Uh, so they added a lot to this game. When was this successfully underfunded? Uh, oh, 2020. So this has been an eight-month turnaround. They added a lot of expansion content to this game. This is just an interesting rabbit hole to go down. Uh, Velocity Fanguard Group, Discard, New Pledge Levels. Which pledge should you choose? Well, obviously, I'm pretty sure they probably know that. Stretch goals. We have exciting things planned for the campaign once we enter funding goal. My position has always been not to overpromise and, disapp- uh, and avoid disappointing. If we do not hit the necessary goals, however, I see no issue revealing some would have been planned without specific goals. Cool. If expansions currently do not include extra modules and specialist group card would mean having to purchase a second copy of the game, why not either add them or provide the additional modules and cards as an add-on? I mean, if the add-on expansions are not new factions, why not just purchase two core sets and none of the expansions? This is so... As a solo player... Am I going to be best served with the core pledge? Yes, a solo player, the core pledge, as of now, is perfect for you. That is really disappointing to me that the... So you're telling me that none of the stuff in the expansions are thing I'm going to want in the solo game? When you say that, that makes me feel like the solo game is probably going to be, like, totally slapped on there. And I don't want to believe that. I don't want to believe that. Okay, Comments. I cannot tell you how hyped I am for this campaign. I know it's probably an effort for a follow-up campaign, but more civilizations would be absolutely amazing. Agreed. Wait, so are any of the cards in the faction expansion not included in the core box? No, these are just extra copies of the same cards, so those playing with extra ships will be able to equip man each ship as desired. Great update and good news. Okay. So you do have people who are active and engaged, and I do see the creator here. Great on the customer service. But overall, I'm not a fan of this Kickstarter. And with the new rating scale, man, I feel like this is going to be way more of a harsh thing. (laughs) Like, giving someone a 1, a very tepid 1, just sounds so much nicer than giving someone a D. But I'm giving this Kickstarter a D. I just, I didn't like the video. I don't like the main story here. Even though I feel like your 18 missions are probably not going to be that spectacular. Like, being quite frank, it just seems like one of those games you'd have as a kid where it's like, 20 NES games and one cartridge. And you're like, oh my god, 20 games, Mom! I need to have 20 games! And then you find out that most of the games are just absolute crap. And I hope that's not the case, but that's the impression that I got when I really started to read those. It's just, in your first time one, you came up with so much expansion content in that period of time, and I don't feel like you really learned. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't, like, I don't know. It just, it just the, the fact that you started off with just $175, you have to buy absolutely everything. But that also explains the shipping section. It's much more savage. I like the new rating system. LOL, you can be a lot more particular. I really can. There's a lot more lines there. Uh, It's just, I feel like you need, the first thing I would do is I would go fix that shipping section because right now, anybody who just wants to dip their toes in this, because once again, I thought $79 for what you showed me wasn't a bad value. But then when I get to $29 shipping, I'm like, dang. And if that is how much you need to ship, I just, I have a hard time seeing that. Like, that's so much to ship something. Uh, But I I would work on that shipping section. But let me know what you think in the comments below. And actually, let me know in the comments below what grade would you give Velocity Vanguard. I give it, you know what, and and, and since I'm going D, I was at C, then I creeped to D, so it's going to be a D+. I think it's a D+. There's a lot of really good stuff to build on here. I want to start by saying that. Uh, actually, I'm going to end by saying that. But as always, if you enjoy what I'm doing, just keep enjoying what I'm doing because that's how that's how this works. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube. Bye bye.